Welcome to the program, General. Give thanks. Rasta, so Rastafari, it's a, it's a pleasure and a blessing to be on the program, I just start. You don't know, one perfect love every time. A blessed love to everyone that's tuning in, you know. I hope you love that track, you know. It's called African Love, you know. Big up Garnet Silk, the whole Garnet Silk family. Because this is the world inspiration from, you know. And this song is all about celebrating all the beautiful kings and queens in you know, African African descent and in Africa, same way, you know what I mean? They can be a royal sir. people. Yes, I. Yes, I. True, yeah. true, 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 my brother. Yeah, my love. Yeah, my love. The vibe, my love. The energy, as me I say a while ago, I get that um sense of, of um, you know, Caribbean feel to it, and 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 also that African vibe to it. Is 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 it yeah. a, a a Afrobeat song or what, what what type of song is it? Well, it's it's a combination of Afrobeat with a reggae vibe with a little Latin type of vibe tonight, you know. Because this song produced by Crabba Genius, you know. That's a Charlie Black road manager, you know. So he produced this track. He presented the rhythm to me. Because you know he's a Garnet Silk fan like myself, you know, inspired by Garnet Silk. And if you notice the chorus of Miss V sing is a is a flip of what Garnet Silk sings, say, Hello Mama Africa, how are you? So True. we just flip it to one say African King we had a collaboration, so she said, Hello African King, how are you? You know, I'm feeling fine. I hope you're fine too. So, it have it's an Afrobeat with infused with the reggae phrase night, you know, and have a like a Latin type. Of, if you hear the um the percussion night, you know that type of vibes, you know. So it's it's it can it have multifaceted. You know what I mean? Yeah, cause I can hear that um steel pan drum in it also. You know. All right, that that that, that, that the thing more. That's the thing more. I did find it. So it have that actually that vibe. The Caribbean yeah, sound. Yeah. It have the it have the African, it have the African feel, you know. Cause I know everything I come from Africa, so that gotcha. ingredients are rich in it. You know what I mean? It have reggae, which reggae same way Africa, African people create reggae music. Or based in Jamaica and go all over the world. Everyone love it. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you say what is most important for I and I, the message re remains positive. The re message remains authentic and true to what I and I stand for as a Rastaman, you know. And, and we are trying to restore about the goddess and the gods, you know, the, you know, the kings and queens of across the globe, you know. In the African community, that's what this song is all about, really. You know, my, lo my, 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 my love, how you put um, the emphasis and the message from early on. So, me just want the eye to keep that in mind. In mind, you see, me I say, my love, how you put that emphasis straight away and the message. See, um, yeah, it was, it is sorry, I just it, it's always about the message, always from ever since I started. The message is what is most important, and and me as a as a creative being like as a, as a as an artist as a singer, my best way to express myself is through the music. So the message is always in the message in the music is always very most important, most very important. Rastafari, Rastafari. All right, we 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 are gonna come back. We are gonna come back. We are gonna come forward to this or still in terms of the message, Zin. But um. Yes, How much meditation go round um, the release of the song, knowing that it have that um, garnet silk um, part to it, Zin, and also it's the month of um, garnet silk, birth month. Was there any meditation round round that? Yeah, man, I work for meditation, man. It was strategical. If you notice, the song was released um, today. Was sun it was released Friday the 9th. I know the number nine of perfection. Garnet Silk yes, birthday. Right. We, we tried to get it out and the, uh, we tried to get it out on the second or the third. Cause I know the third was Empress Men in Earth Strong. Yes. You know, you know, the goddess of creation, the mother of Rastafari culture. And so so based upon the iTunes and the digital platforms, it was only available to release the ninth, which which is perfect same way. Because nine is perfection. And you know, Garnet Silk month was is April. So it's strategically planned. A lot of meditation, a lot of focus was was to get the song out in this month. 
Rastafari, Rastafari. Lovely song still. And um what 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 okay. me notice though, Zane? What me notice is um yeah. when 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 most Jamaican artists are collab with, with our sisters and brothers on the continent, it's 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 never really an authentic um reggae sound then like an original reggae sound if i can put it like that where it's just reggae it it it, it have no mix of 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 anything else it's just rap and reggae um what what the meditation around that is it is it um market wise why why most artists got a way there to tap into the numbers right. are all right. For example, let's be honest, too. You see, for me, um, I'm, I'm an ambassador of reggae music. You know, reggae music is what I've known. Everybody knows me as a reggae artist, you know? Rastafari. So, that is my, that, that, that is my preference, prefer, um, my, my best choice when we collaborate I do any form of music, the, the roots music, you know what I mean? But you see, when this rhythm was given to me, it, my empress, who is also my manager, Leslie, and she, she and we got check crab up in the hills, right? So we link crab and all. She and and um Crab and the Empress are really say they well, want to look a different feel, you know what I mean? So with the same message. So immediately Crab I said, May I have something. So I said, play it for me. I'm gonna listen it. We still feel I really feel like, but it is Afrobeat. But back to the question I say, well, for me personally, if my collaborate if somebody linked me from Africa now I mean, most time I reggae I collaborate with other people in a different part of the world and reggae music and a reggae beat, but Coincidentally, this is what happened with this song, you know. And true, she's a she's an Afrobeat singer, really based in Ghana. So we said no problem because one thing me can assure anyone, no matter what um, the beat is, I, I try to keep it authentic with the, in terms of the message and a true reflection of what I stand for, you know. So I don't know why other artists maybe when them collaborate with a, with a, with an outside artist in terms of from a different part of Jamaica or different part different from Jamaica, they maybe choose to be hip hop or whatever the genre may be, but. I know I really have no problem. Once the message is positive, that are the most most important thing for me. You know, because I collaborate with anyone. Most people look for collaboration, a reggae music, a reggae reggae rhythm. Are we gonna we create um, create the melodies and the the music behind it? So I don't really have a problem because you know, um, the word the message I forgot any means necessary, and you know I'm true to what I stand for. You know, so it all it's, it's always authentic, no matter what the vibe. So even the flow or oh, I sing, it's still. Working same way, you know. The beat different to you. Them like dance, so we put it on that beat and as it go, you know. Rastafari. I I I was reading um an article earlier today um from from out of Ghana. Yeah. Zin um is 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 a popular high life. Um, some would call him a veteran. You know what I mean? In in the high life in Ghana, and basically what he was yeah. saying is that um. Ghana seems to be putting a, a too much emphasis on reggae and dancehall, and 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 not putting that energy into I life. You okay. you, you, you see you, you see them thing that as 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 a conflict with the music, knowing that um you know reggae music is is still a African music. You know, it's African people that do the music yes well well i must say that's how in a, in a previous in a conversation earlier i said that the, the reggae music is same it's from africa because african people do it people were based in jamaica but we're african descendants you know what i mean so i mean really see the issue you know because of one people and we are creative people we're so creative because even earlier i was watching a, a thing on social media and we see a jamaican girl somewhere in europe and she teach some European open dance to dance our music. So, you know, we are we are teachers, we are leaders in our own right, you know. So sometimes a bit of jealousy, all of them, they get in the whole mix of things. But we have to just keep focus on bitch and remember that we, we are we are, we are one people, no matter what the difference or preference that we have. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you know we are we are we are peculiar people, or we are great people. Rastafari, my lad, for real, for real. Yeah man, yeah. he's a great, great people from them time till this time. You know, yes. but um, what 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 more ask the eye, Zin? Because yes. the eye, the eye is, um put a lot of emphasis on the message just now, Zin. Yes. And 
I know the eye music is 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 a message that I really I try to get out there, Zeb, but it's not a a a a, a message where it's degrading, Zin, your 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 sister or you know you're telling your brother to go and kill the one another. You know that that is not what the eye music represent. So my question to the eye warrior, Zin. Does the okay. music have any influence or power? Is my music have influence and power? Yes, my lad. That's that's yeah, that's most definitely life and death. I just start life and death is the power of the tongue. You know, we read that in the scriptures, and we know that even without reading, you know, what I mean, words create kind of, ah, look. You can't thump a man in the face. As I was reading through the bridge, you can't, you can't thump in the face, I just say, which I'm not do. But we can thump in the face, mm -hmm. and maybe if you're weak, or you're, you're still repeat, maybe, maybe if you're a day or maybe half a day, depends on how the, the force I'm use and thump you. And, and maybe by the night, even you, 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 you remember some thump you. But I can tell you something. I can say something to you. I hurt you so much to the core that even 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 my past and gone out of the flesh years mm -hmm. after. Uh, sometimes uh, your, your, your grandchildren still remember that because you, you, you sell your, your son your, and your, your son will tell his children and that remains. So my music have, made, have power, you understand? Because the words are power, words create words it strikes. So I'm very mindful, as I said. I'm always mindful of what come out of my mouth and what I put on record and everything. You know, it's very important. Music have power because if the music never have power, more than I go different places in the world are seeing the music. People request me because of the message that come, the words that come out of my mouth, mm -hmm. you know? So the music of power, of course, because it's inspired by his imperial majesty, you know, Emperor Lister the first. And, you know, it, just in the scripture you read, the word is like the sword. So, so that am my real weapon as a warrior king on the battlefield. You know, nobody ever see me with a gun or a sword or a knife or a child fighting about my when we use and fight is intelligent and the words that come out of my mouth. So my music have power. You know, that's why I'm here today talking to you. You know what I mean? Because if it never influential, you would even have made a program come. You know, you're very peculiar with who you interview and so forth. So the music have power and, and positive power, make po positive influence and, and which can make positive change. You know, that's the type of music I do. Rastafari. So the, 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 the reasoning that we hear go out there from the other day from some artists, mainly dancehall artists, when they say that um the music doesn't influence. Zin the music the music doesn't influence people to do crime. And we, we, we see that yeah. the Prime Minister came out and said that the music is a part of what is, is fueling crime and violence in Jamaica. That is the reason why may I ask you if your music have uh, any influence in uh, it. That's why I strongly disagree with the, the um, artists that must say um, they're not, they're not, they're not influence. I don't agree with them. Because remember you now, well, as the youth I go to school and as youth I come up in a Rastafari tradition, is the music where really draw my attention and influence me when we start even dig deep in our reading and research. When we listen to Garnick Silk, we listen to Bob Marley, we listen to Dennis Brown, Black Uro, we listen to Abyssinian, we listen to Sizzler, Lucian, and Capitan, all of the Anthony B, all of the great Admiral Tibet, all of them great arts where we talk about Rastafari and Africa. And the music inspire me. And the music make you put you up on a med. So, you know, I always say words create and words can destroy. So, whether people do it for entertainment or they just do it for recreation or they just do it for making money, the words will go out into the world. It, it, the seeds of this soil, it will go out there and bear fruits. You know what I mean? It might not, you, might not, you might just do it for fun. Because when I started, when I started as an artist, I used to patronize bounty killer. You understand? I mean, just used to do music for the fun. But it's what, when I realized that words are power, words can create, and words can destroy, words can inspire, and words can change the whole world. And that's when we realize, say, yo, see this gift for Jackie me, I'm going to use it for the right thing, to the best of my ability. And even if a one person, we can touch maybe one person can change a million or a billion people's mind. So, so I strongly disagree with um, the, 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 the comments that some people say, no? But I'm going to say music is the only contributing factor to the crime and violence. In Jamaica, there are many other factors, but it's one of them. And music, when a teacher in a classroom, and it's restricted to about 10 students, 20 students, some cases you have 30, and even some party, like in the Caribbean and certain part in Africa, the, the classroom, them jump back. When an artist sing, thousands of people, let's say, thousands, sometimes millions of people, let's say, even the writer now, sang a play pan, Pandora sang a play pan, XM Radio, the giant sang a play pan, you know, which station, you know, how much of people, let's say, so it's very influential. 
You might do it for fun, but at this time, people take it serious. The word stick on the flesh in the beginning was the word, and the word was with the most, and the word was the most, and the word stick on flesh, you know? That's why we see Isla Selassie as God because the words ever come out of their mouth and the action, you know, we, 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 it's very unique, it's very peculiar, uh, you know? We don't say Seriously. that I am and chat with them type of stuff like his majesty. Yeah, so words create our words this time, and so we have to be mindful of that, you know? That's why, that's why I used to try, like me as a, as a, as a, as a artist, you don't ever see me on stage I sing, and, and the artist up on stage I sing about, me have my big gun and, and the next artist I sing about girl, you this fat and them thing and them, you have to say about Rastafari. It's going to look kind of stupid. So me, me, me not get myself in involved in them type of setting. You know, when I perform, if you see them type of vibes there, with the stick time, come off of the stage, I'm not going to panic none at all if I'm already there. You know what I mean? Selassie, I. Selassie, I. Yes. Yeah. Wednesday. Yes, my lad. Yes, I. Me, 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 me sister, they are all a principle within, you know, within this thing. We know the music is a business but at the same time you know there there is certain principle that i want or dear to them to them to them um to them life still you know that carry them through for deal with music and for deal with other people and other different things but um what what we see from like recent in what what we may get for notices you know rasta artists who probably never Zane have nothing until them start make music that glorify his majesty and then probably after a couple of years Zane them get popular and thing and you know what I mean start to make some money and thing but the the, the 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 message then start to become contradictory Zane to 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 how them start out you feel like is is complacency um, why we are saying um, some of them contradictory thing that within reggae music and reggae artists, Rasta artists, per se? Well, I think it's, um, I think that's a lot, a lot to do with it, you know, um, the type of company you keep, mm. you know, can influence again. The company you keep, whisper words in your ears, say things around you, you know, so that make you lose focus on what you're really supposed to be doing, you know, um, because you want to be in the spotlight and you forget to say, yo, we, we are roots people, so sometimes most of you don't say, you have to accept it, say, we well, might be underground, but when you're underground, the tree and the branches cannot sustain without the root. So, you know, sometimes it's just lack of focus and, and, and people not find the time again, because sometimes being an artist, sometimes you're big, busy study, doing interviews, performing, going to studio recording. Sometimes you know, some artists don't really take the time out for discipline, like you keep a Sabbath or you have a day, no matter what. No matter who call, no matter how much money I know I spend, it, I say, yo, I don't know where to do it. I say, all our vibes, read my books, meditate. You go check, you go pass through the different mansions, whether you're at 12 tribe, night you're being the Orthodox, School of Vision, Church of Alice Lassie, um, Ousa Jane, no matter which, which mansion you may be, a Naya Bingi, you know, no matter which mansion you may be a part of, you have to find time for growing, grown yourself, because just like his majesty said, to be a, a, a teacher, you have to first be in merit. You know, so for, for, for first lead, you have to follow. You have to be a teacher, you have to be a student. So they have not take time for all the vibes. So I think that is some of the things where cars, the, 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 some of our brothers and sisters to lose some focus. And because of the ego thing, the ego thing get into everything now. They, they don't, sometimes don't want people to take correction from the elders. And they don't want people to, to, to listen from a youth or curriculum. You know, you feel like you know it all and nobody can talk to you. And you, and you, you. As a Rasta people, we have to make sure, say, we always in line with the teachings of the emperor. The teachings of the emperor is why, you see, Bob Marley said, give us the teachings of his majesty. I wouldn't want to be in a devil philosophy. That's why most of my songs are inspired by his majesty, if not all. Is it what I say? So we always make sure, if I go write a topic, we check every topic is majesty of reason and our, our, our speeches and, you know, so you can check it and make sure you're in line before you put out a record, you know, so them things they're important. So I think those are some of the reasons why the bridging them, the company, are one of the main reasons. You have friends only that tell you the wrong things, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And them not tell you, say, yo, that way the wrong. Too much yes man around a lot of the artists them. But you know, all of them are brothers and sisters, so we have to show them love same way and hope and pray that they will find by them way, you know, because none of us are perfect at the end of the day, you know? True, 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 true. True, true. All right, my general. More of a jog the eye memory a little bit. Zin? Yeah, yeah, man. Jog it, man. Let's open my memories. Last, last, last.
subscribe button. button. See you on the next video. video. I, I just, just saw the mindset. mindset. Smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just saw the mindset.